Reproduction Introduction Have you ever wondered what makes you feel nervous before your exams? Do you know what makes you feel the hunger? Or what is it that makes you feel tired and stressed at times? Well, all these happen due to chemical substances called hormones that are working together inside our body, coordinating and regulating various body functions. The endocrine system. In human beings and most vertebrates, there is an organ system called the endocrine system consisting of a collection of bag-like structures called glands. These glands are located at specific places throughout our bodies and do big jobs like controlling, regulating and coordinating several functions of our bodies through chemicals. These chemical substances released by the glands are called hormones. The major glands that make up the human endocrine system are the pituitary, the thyroid, adrenals, pancreas, the ovaries and the testes. Pituitary gland. The pituitary gland located at the base of the brain is called the master gland of the endocrine system because its hormones control the activity of many of the other endocrine glands. Pancreas. The pancreas are located near the liver and secretes the hormones insulin. Insulin regulates the level of body sugar. Ovaries. The ovaries are located in the pelvic region of females and secretes the hormone estrogen. Estrogen controls the development of secondary sexual characters in females such as development of breasts, etc. Thyroid gland. The thyroid gland is located at the base of the throat and secretes the hormone thyroxine. Thyroxine regulates body temperature and plays a major role in growth and development. Adrenal gland. The adrenal gland is located near or on the kidneys and secretes the hormone adrenaline. Adrenaline helps in the defense of the body in emergency situations. Testes. The testes is located near the male genital organs and secretes the hormone testosterone. Testosterone controls the development of secondary sexual characters in male, such as facial hair. Why reproduce? For the continuity of life, all living things produce organisms of their own kind. This is called reproduction. Reproduction is the means by which life goes on. The process by which living beings produce offspring of their own kind is called reproduction. Human Reproductive System Baby Formation Almost all living bodies have special reproductive cells which are different in a male and a female body. These reproductive cells are called gametes. The female gamete is usually called an ovum and a male gamete is called a sperm. The two gametes join together during a process called fertilization. This initiates the formation of a baby. An overview of the stages involved in the formation of babies is given as shown. Gametes are released by males and females. Each of the gametes contains one half of the hereditary characters from its parent. The male gamete, sperm, and the female gamete, ovum, join together during fertilization to form a zygote. The zygote has one complete set of hereditary characters, one half each from the mother and the father. The zygote divides to produce a large number of cells. Development continues further and at puberty, children become young adults capable of releasing gametes. The zygote develops inside the mother's womb into an embryo. Development continues and the baby is born. The baby grows into a child.